There they are. The twin waterfalls. The mother's tears. This is it. The entrance to the temple. Oh, I did it! Oh, you said I couldn't. You said I'd fail, that I'd make some rookie mistake and blunder into a pit or a trap, and you wouldn't be around to save me. Ha! Well, eat your heart out, Professor. Here I am. I'd love to see that smug, gorgeous face of yours when you realize one of your lowly students beat you to the prize. Mm, ten years you've been looking, but I'm the one who found it. Me. Serves you right for making me do all the research on the Englishman's expedition. Leaving me in a dank library basement while you jetted around the world, giving lectures and interviews on the work I had done. Uh, okay. All right. Don't get too cocky, kiddo. This could all still go wrong. You might have left your professor back in London, but you're in the mother's territory now, and the legends all say she was a jealous god. She's definitely not going to just let you waltz into her hidden sanctum and take her most cherished treasure. Not without some resistance. Where did I put that scrap of parchment? The Englishman's poem. Oh, he and his two partners made it all the way inside, but he returned alone. And without the treasure. I know I have it. Ah, here it is. Through the fall of tears, into the realm of fears, back we crawled through time, past the serpent vines, quick across the sands, with grasping greedy hands, we reached out for her prize to only touch it with our eyes. Hmm. Well, not exactly Shakespeare, but I give it extra points for being creepy. The realm of fear. Serpent vines. Oh, almost certainly poetic license. But in reference to what? Flowery language aside, the truth is that three very experienced treasure hunters went into that temple and only one emerged. Oh, I hope I can do this. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Why do I hear you in my head, telling me I'm not tough enough, not smart enough to finish this, warning me I can't do it without you? Well, no more, Professor. I'm not that scared, submissive little girl who showed up in your class thinking you were some untouchable idol. I trekked 200 miles through a snake-infested jungle to get here. I can handle whatever the mother throws at me. All right, then, kiddo. Okay, through the fall of tears. Yes, here behind the western waterfall, there's an entrance. Hmm, more like a crack in the rock. The carvings around it are eroded, but... Yes, there's the jaguar motif, the mother's spirit shape. Oh, where's my flashlight? There we go. Oh, wow, the tunnel. Hundreds of carvings. All fangs and claws and biting heads. This has got to be the realm of fears. Oh, it's so narrow, I'm gonna have to squeeze in sideways. No way I'm getting my pack or rifle through. Come on, come on. Oh, there's barely room to slip through. Oh, the Englishman and his pals must have been skinny little tomb robbers. The benefits of dysentery, I guess. Oh, come on, don't get stuck. <laughs> don't get stuck. Help is a long way off if you get stuck. Come on, just a little more. Uh, uh, I'm through. Oh, into some antechamber. Uh, there's light coming down from a shaft in the mountain way, way above. Oh, uh, and water trickling. Look at these vines. I've never seen a species like this before. They look like green snakes. Huh, serpent vines, I guess. Wait, what's, what's that there in the corner? Bones? One of the Englishman's partners, no doubt. Oh, odd how the vines have grown around him in coils. He looks almost mummified. His limbs pulled tight together. Well, that's not natural. What? Oh. Something just moved in here. I can hear rustling in the vines. Some, some animal or... No, no, that's impossible. It's the vines? The vines are moving. How? How? Oh, it's got my foot, my, my wrist. Oh, okay, stay.
Stay calm. Gotta grab my knife and cut. Come on. Oh, uh, there are so many. Uh, they're so strong. Come on. Slash them. Come on, you can do this. Slash. Slash. Uh, uh, oh, I have to get out of this chamber. There's an arch. If I can just... Mm, my boot. Oh, come on. Oh, one just pulled off my boot. No, no, not my neck. Cut it loose. I'm almost at the arch. I have to keep cutting. Come on. Cut. Cut. Oh. Uh. <sighs> oh I'm through. Oh. Where am I? Onto, onto some steps. What? What? No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, one's hooked to the back of my shorts. I can't. I can't get a good angle to slash it. It's, it's dragging me back. All right, off with the shorts, I guess. <clears throat> Kick them off and get my other boot off and wiggle out. Uh, yes, there. Oh, take them. Choke on them. <laughs> take my other boot, too, you grabby creeps. Oh, strain and snap at me all you want. You can't reach me this far down these steps. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. You're alive. You're alive. <sighs> yeah, I know what you'd say, Professor. <laughs> I'm stripped down to my top in these admittedly cool camouflage pattern tights. In the middle of a cursed temple, hundreds of miles from anyone. <laughs> oh, but you know what that smug little summation leaves out? That I'm the one here, not you. Oh, and you're back in London wondering how your meek little student bested you. I'm here, and alive, and I'm going to walk out with your prize. So forget the serpent vines and look for... Oh, there she is. The mother. Look how they carved her, reclined in that shaft of light on a golden bed of sand. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, those curves, that jaguar smile. <laughs> the hell with Hollywood. The ancients really knew how to depict a real goddess. And there in her hand. Is it? Oh, yes it is! The ruby scepter, carved from a single giant stone. Oh, it's so breathtaking. And now, honey, you're gonna hand it off to me. And... <clears throat> what the... Who said that? Who's up there? Professor? You? No, no, that's not fair. How did you get here? You rappel down from the top of the shaft? Oh, very funny, though it looks like you should have packed more rope. It's gonna take you some time to find a way down from that ledge. How did you get here? How did you find this place? You couldn't have unless you... You copied my notes. Oh, of course you did. Oh, your whole career has been built on the backs of misty-eyed grad students willing to do anything for you. No. No, I will not control myself. And I will not be controlled by you. Not anymore. Running all over campus, fetching your books, fetching you coffee, just hoping to be noticed, aching for one word of praise. But you never even saw me, did you? I was just another one in your stable of students. Another one to do your work for you. After that Harvard grad student got drunk and passed out, and, and that hot professor from Cambridge turned out to play for the other team, you saw me then, didn't you? Oh yeah, you saw me then. Then you saw the subby little research assistant. So convenient. All I had to do was give you a couple of doe-eyed glances and you practically ordered me to your hotel room. Hmm. That's when I spotted the Englishman's poem on your desk. The final piece of the puzzle I'd been putting together for months, right under your nose. I knew I had to make my move. <laughs> How long was it before anyone found you tied to the bed, hmm? <laughs> I bet that was embarrassing. That's it. Work your way down off that ledge. By the time you do, I'll have the scepter and be gone. 
I know all the mother's traps now, and once past them and out of the cave, I'll vanish in the jungle. You can read all about me in National Geographic. Maybe they'll make a movie about my adventures. <laughs> so watch me take the scepter right out from under you. Just a few quick steps across these golden sands, and I can reach out and take... Huh? Hey, the sand is... Damp. Damp and... Ugh! Sticky! I can't... I can't move my feet. I'm stuck. My feet are stuck. Sand is like, like glue. Uh, it's like I stepped into some thick, goopy glue. Oh, no, no, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. No, oh, what did that stupid poem say? Quick across the sands. Quick sands. I'm so stuck. Stupid. Oh, this is what happened to the last partner. This is why the Englishman couldn't reach the ruby, isn't it? Quicksand. And I walked right into it. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, uh, uh. oh if I had my boots on, I might have been able to wiggle out of them to get away. But in these tights, oh, oh in my stocking feet, I'm, I'm trapped, stuck, sinking. Oh, I can't believe it. I walked right into quicksand like some damn fool. You, you stop laughing at me. Get down here, pull me out. Oh, seriously, I can't move. I can't get out. Every time I try to pull one foot loose, the other presses down into deeper, stickier muck. Okay, okay, I won't move. I, I won't move. I'll I'll stand perfectly still and, you know, sink <laughs> slowly. Just find a way down to me, but carefully. If you fall and crack your skull, I'm sunk, literally. So, so go slow, but go fast, if you know what I mean. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm still sinking. <sighs> it's over my knees. <laughs> oh, it's so thick and gross and soft. Oh, I really can't move. Oh. I can't, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, I can't get out. Hurry, okay? Yeah, 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 jump to the steps. No, no, not so close to the arch. Yeah, don't land in the sand, who knows what's solid. Oh, good, good. Now come to the bottom step and pull me out. Yes, pull me out. Pull me out. Why are you just standing there? I'm sinking, I'll die. What? Oh, okay, fine, sure. You were right. I blundered right into a trap, just like you said I would. And I need you to rescue me. Satisfied? No. Well, what do you want? Come on, I'm up to my thighs in this gunk and I can't feel the bottom. I can't feel anything under my feet but thicker, stickier sand. So please, give me your hand. Payback? This is your idea of payback? I left you tied to a bed where someone would find you not sinking into some ancient gooey death trap. Help me. Get me out of this. Wait, don't back away, please. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have tricked you like I did back in London. I, I was a very, um, I, I was a very naughty girl. But, but look at me, I, I'm in over my hips in this oozy, gooey muck, trapped, stuck, and I... I need your help. I need you to save me, please. Please. Oh, yes, thank you. Reach. Stretch. Oh, no, you're too far. Oh, and you left all your rope halfway up the shaft. Uh, quick, take off your belt and your shirt. Uh, well, look who's been working out. Oh, never mind. Tie the shirt and belt together like a rope. Yeah, yeah, now, now toss one end to me. Hurry, hurry, I'm sinking faster. It's up to my chest. Got it. Got it. Okay, now. Pull. Pull. No? What? Why not? You want the ruby scepter? At a time like this? Of course, that's the price for saving me. Are you kidding? I'm sinking. Okay. All right. Throw me your end of the rope. I'll, I'll use it to knock the ruby loose, catch it, and, and then you can save us both. I promise. 
All right, good. Toss it to me. Yes, got it. Oh, now I just have to <clears throat> twist around and, oh, how can something so soft be so oh, heavy? So impossible to move and, oh, my feet keep searching for something solid, but it's all just a thick bottomless paste. Oh, God, come on. Okay, all right, I'm up to my neck, but at least I'm facing the mother. Here goes. One, two, three. Uh, knocked it off and got it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh I can't twist back. I'm completely, completely stuck. All right. I'm going to throw the rope over my head to you. Catch it, please. The sand is touching my chin. No, I am not going to toss you the ruby first. It's both of us or nothing. Now, pull. Please, please pull. I'm going under. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, grab my hand. Can you grab my hand? Pull me up. Please pull me up. Oh, God, yes, okay. All the way up. Up the steps, higher, higher. Thank you. Thank you. I want to be clear of the pit. Oh. I can't believe I walked right into quicksand. Would you have really let me sink if I didn't get the ruby? Oh, you're as ruthless as you are gorgeous. But in the end, you did save my life. I suppose that deserves a kiss, if nothing else. To make up for what I did to you before. Hmm. <laughs> you liked that? Well, I'd say there's more where that came from, but, uh... You might want to deal with those serpent vines coiling around your ankles first. <laughs> oh, they're wrapping around your legs. Now your wrists and arms are quick and strong, aren't they? <laughs> you know, I had to cut my way loose. Mm. Oh, they're pulling you back toward the arch. So many of them now. I suppose this is goodbye, Professor. <laughs> I'm going to take the ruby and go back the way you came. I'll find your rope, climb out, and make my way over to my camp. But, just so you don't think I'm not grateful to you for saving me from that icky, sticky quicksand, here, my knife. Here, I'll put it in your hand. Hold tight. Maybe you can saw your way loose before the vines draw you in and you get all wrapped up. <laughs> I'll leave the rope for you. I have to go now. Fame and fortune await. Maybe we'll meet again, hunting for some golden idol or pirate chest. But whether we do or not, our time here together is something I'll always <laughs> treasure. Bye-bye, Professor. <laughs>